also my, like so my, the, the three the three things I, I own outside of SpaceX and Tesla, uh, and also obviously it's a Neuralink and Boring Company, but but of any significance are um, Bitcoin by far, and then some Ethereum and some Doge. Um, so you know if, if if the price of Bitcoin goes down, I I uh, I lose money. I, I'm not sort of you know. Um, you know, I might pump, but I don't dump. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, it, it's not a case of, um, I'm, I, I definitely do not believe in, <laughs> in getting the price high and selling or anything like that. Um, so, uh, and I would like to see Bitcoin succeed. Um, uh, I, I think there's, there's some merit to, cons- this is not a slam of Bitcoin, there's some merit to, to consider to considering uh, a, a something that has a higher max transaction rates um, and lower transaction cost, um, and kind of seeing how far you could take a single layer network where the uh, exchanges act as a de facto uh, second layer. Um, I think you can probably take that further than people realize. And, and as uh, bandwidth increases over time, uh, latency decreases, uh, uh, SpaceX and Starlink is actually playing a role in this. Um, and I think long term, people will probably have you know, access to uh, worldwide access to gigabit level uh, connectivity at low latency and so uh, at, at, at low cost. And so then, you know, your, your, your base layer could do a lot of transactions if you uh, take that into account. Um, so, yeah, but, but like I said, Bitcoin with a layer two system um, so they could scale to do a vast number of transactions. Uh, same goes for Ethereum.